Okay, welcome to the channel guys, this is Slight. Today we're gonna go through the Motovlog setup that I have. So I'm using the Atlas II for the Motovlogs right now. I'm using the Rurok chin mount, the extension. That way the camera can kind of come out. If not, it would actually be too close and it, the angle wouldn't be out here, it'd be like this, right? Not much difference, but it's enough to make it so then you're not just seeing down, right? I've, I've done a couple different setups. Uh, my bell helmet I had completely all, all worked up and stuff like that. But what I found with this one, I have a mic. It's just a Harold mic. It's screwed in, like it uses a thread in here. And then I have it worked up on this side. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the, the phone for my camera just to kind of show how much padding I've added in here. So there is quite a bit of padding that I've added to this. There, the mic is underneath all this. So this is your dead cat. I have it just kind of sitting there, but on the outside section. And I've also put padding on the other side, right? To kind of limit it because of it being a carbon fiber helmet, it does pick up more wind from the outside. But I was also catching it from like the inside. So I sealed up these right here because I didn't know whether or not I was, like I was chasing to find where the wind was coming through. So that basically is all the padding that I had to add. So there is quite a bit in there, but it's, it's in front of your face, so it really doesn't have any impact on that. But then I have that the cable come through and then it's all the way in the back here and then I have it all taped up in there and then I have the mic itself right here. I have a Tascam little audio unit okay that I'm actually using right now this section here would screw into this okay. and then this would actually attach itself here and then like it doesn't doesn't move or anything it actually stays the reason why I did the screwed in section is so then if it does fall off it's not going anywhere the only problem with this setup is because I'm not going into the GoPro itself, I do have to mate the audio after. So when I'm editing, it's like an additional step. But if you, I don't know, clap, you can mate the, the actual spikes in the audio. Um, and then it's, it's just like anything else. It's, it's, it's actually pretty quick and easy. That's pretty much that. Um, originally, I did use just the GoPro. The problem with that is you have to have the audio jack. It goes into the side. So it would actually pull out. You put the GoPro in there. This would slide in and that was it. The audio would come from here. So it would be in like that. The problem with this is they are notorious for not getting audio. So there is so many videos, so many videos that I've actually done and I've had perfect video, no audio. <laughs> it was, it's pretty frustrating. That would be the door cause you'd have to actually take the GoPro door off right this would mate and then this would go into the USB-C so then this actually this unit here is the audio from GoPro right so that don't really like especially when you're doing videos and you can't actually get the audio because it doesn't work very well the setup that I have right now I, I pretty pretty well like I think it's probably far superior system or setup in my opinion, it is a little bit more expensive with the um, additional audio setup, but you're gonna get a GoPro or any other camera anyways. It doesn't matter. You can just mate the audio here and I think it's, I think it's like $200 Canadian for the actual, um, the unit and it comes with a mic as well. So all you have to do is get another mic if you're gonna be doing outside recording either that or wear your helmet all the time, right? So it's actually a pretty decent setup. I enjoy it. It actually works quite well for me. Um, I've tried a few different setups and I believe it's a very similar setup to Chase on two wheels or whatever, or a very similar setup, I think. If memory serves me correctly, I think that's uh, some of the information I got from him, actually. All you really need to do is have your video and your audio. If you're gonna use your video with the GoPro and use the GoPro, you do need the mic adapter. Um, if you don't use it that way, 
then you can use the external mic and just made it post-production. It's pretty simple. If you do like the channel, you like the content, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And until next time, guys.